For this video, we picked the top AI stocks Wall Street analysts recently upgraded. To start our list, we will talk about Palantir. Recently, Dan Ives of Wedbush suggested that the recent decline in Palantir Technologies presents a golden buying opportunity. Ives has given Palantir Technologies an outperform rating and set a price target of $35. Despite trading at a lofty price to earnings ratio of 170, which has caused concern among many investors, supporters of Palantir Technologies argue that the company's consistent government contract wins and growth in artificial intelligence related areas justify this valuation. Analysts are particularly optimistic about Palantir Technologies' artificial intelligence platform, which assists businesses and governments in decision making using AI technologies. In the first quarter, Palantir Technologies experienced a 16% year-over-year increase in government contracts, with United States government revenue jumping 12% year-over-year. Palantir Technologies has revised its growth outlook for the U.S. commercial sector to 45% and is anticipated to report a 20% sales growth next year according to Wall Street projections. Currently, the stock is trading at 54 times its estimated earnings per share of $0.39 cents for the year 2025, a figure supported by its robust growth trajectory. Next, we will talk about Cisco Systems. Cisco has made headlines with the launch of a $1 billion investment fund aimed at artificial intelligence startups. Additionally, Cisco Systems has announced a partnership with NVIDIA to simplify the development of generative artificial intelligence applications. The company offers several AI-focused products, including the AI-native cybersecurity solution, HyperShield AI Assistance, and other AI infrastructure solutions. In May, Cisco Systems reported strong fiscal quarter three results, surpassing earnings per share estimates by 7.3% and revenue by 5.50%. Cisco Systems also raised its revenue guidance for the full year. Bank of America maintains a buy rating and a $60 price target for the stock. Morgan Stanley analyst Meta Marshall recently commended Cisco Systems' quarter three performance, stating that the company slightly exceeded estimates with better than expected orders. Marshall has an overweight rating and a $58 price target on Cisco Systems. When talking about the best stocks, we also need to mention Marvel Technology. Marvel is another stock that JP Morgan believes could dominate the customer application specific integrated service circuit market. Analysts at JP Morgan estimate that Marvel Technology could generate between $1.6 billion and $1.8 billion in AI revenue from application-specific integrated circuits and networking this year, with projections for next year ranging between $2.8 billion and $3 billion. Despite mixed results for the first quarter, some analysts see the recent dip in Marvel Technology's share price as a buying opportunity. Oppenheimer analyst Rick Schaefer maintained his outperform rating on the stock and increased his price target to $90 from $80. Analysts believe Marvel Technology could emerge as a major player in the AI sector as it rolls out AI-specific products for optical interconnects. Marvel Technology also provides application-specific integrated circuits for data centers, which are experiencing significant growth amid the AI boom. According to data from Yahoo Finance, the average Wall Street price target for Marvel Technology is $87.70, indicating a 14% upside potential from current levels. However, Marvel Technologies' negative revenue growth has raised concerns, especially as peers continue to grow at a faster pace. Marvel Technology holds $3 billion in net debt. For fiscal 2025, Marvel Technologies' free cash flow is expected to reach $1 billion, excluding taxes and management's stock options. With a price-to-earnings ratio of 52 and trading at 32 times the estimated earnings per share for 2025, Marvel Technology is seen as a long-term investment. Now we need to discuss a technology leader such as Broadcom. According to JP Morgan's latest report, Broadcom is positioned to dominate the high end of the customer chips market. JP Morgan anticipates the high end of the application-specific integrated circuit market to reach between $20 billion and $30 billion, up from its previous estimate of $20 billion to $25 billion. While Broadcom has significant exposure to the AI semiconductor market, some believe the stock is priced for perfection, with a price-to-earnings ratio of 
52 and a year-to-date share price gain of 30%. In the first quarter, Broadcom saw a remarkable 34% revenue growth, surprising Wall Street. Broadcom's revenue growth is projected to be 13% next year and 15.10% annually over the next five years. The stock's one-year average analyst price estimate set by Wall Street is $1,533, indicating an upside potential of just 9%. Lastly, let's discuss the benefits of investing in AMD. Earlier this month, city analysts predicted that advanced micro devices is set to capture 10% of the data center GPU market. City analyst Christopher Danley stated that advanced micro devices is leveraging its annual product cadence to keep pace with Nvidia. Danley has set a price target of $176 for advanced micro devices. Advanced micro devices server chips are built on the Zen 5 core CPU architecture. The latest latest results for advanced micro devices revealed a significant increase in data center revenue, but a modest 26% increase in operating income dampened enthusiasm around the stock. Critics of advanced micro devices point out that the stock's price to earnings ratio of over 240 is among the highest in the semiconductor industry. Surprisingly, advanced micro devices forward price to earnings ratio is about two times higher than Nvidia's. The average analyst estimate for advanced micro devices is $187.20 which suggests a 17% upside potential. Wall Street analysts expect advanced micro devices to grow 32.50% this year and 59% next year. Over the next five years, growth is expected to moderate to 32% annually, which remains substantial. Based on advanced micro devices 2025 earnings per share forecast, the stock is trading at around 28.6 times the forward price to earnings ratio, a reasonable figure given the company's growth trajectory and catalyst. In summary, hedge funds are closely watched for their stock picks because imitating these selections can lead to market outperformance. Key stocks currently under the spotlight include Palantir Technologies, Cisco Systems, Marvel Technology, Broadcom, and Advanced Micro Devices, each with its unique strengths and market positions in the rapidly evolving technology and AI sectors. While some of these stocks present long-term opportunities, others may offer better short-term prospects, underscoring the importance of careful analysis and strategic investment decisions. I will make a part two to this video, so remember to press the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.